In this morning's Kern Back in Business, we're always talking about things like Job Fest, how to prepare yourself uh, with your resume and whatnot, but there's something that sometimes gets overlooked, and that's just your confidence going in. Joining us in studio this morning, as always, is Josh Conner and Frank Cabrera. Gentlemen, thank you. Thanks for having us. Thank you. And let's begin by saying a very confident color you're wearing. Very confident. Purple. Very <laughs> confident. I love colors. Is that an actual confident color? Or is I are you making that up? I, I've been approached with it in the past, but yes. I do think wearing these bright colors, when bright I see colors. somebody wearing this, it shows that I want to stand out and I'm confident in myself and who I am to wear something like this and just be the center of attention, you know? So that's that's always good when you're in that application stage or you're in that interview, you mm -hmm. wanna stand out. So I'm not saying wear bright colors, cause that is not <laughs> a tip we're giving, colors. not tip we're giving, but just have the confidence when you walk in there that you know your skills, you know your abilities, and you can properly explain that to your interviewer. When you're talking to people, when they're coming through Job Fest or they're coming in, to just sort of get some ideas on what to do, what are some of the foundation things you talk about when you're talking about building your confidence and coming off as confident? Well, wear a pink shirt. No. no. <laughs> really, you could. Re no, really, the color needs to come in your interview because okay. you're confident about what you know, your ability to be able to draw upon your experience, and your mm -hmm. skills, the more you prepare and the more you know your knowledge. I mean, coming here with you could be a, a very nerve wracking thing. Oh, well, we're on live on, on channel 23, right? But because we know our content and because we know what we have to offer, we're able to come in confidently to present that information. And what are some other things that people can uh, try to even practice at home a little bit before you go into that situation? Practice, surround yourself with positive people and ask them, can you drill me with some interview questions? Cause I, I want the confidence to go into this. Um, don't get those people that are gonna just nitpick. You definitely wanna know your faults, mm -hmm. but you also need to know your positives. So when we do mock interviews, we usually go a positive, something they can work on, mm -hmm. and then end it on a positive again, whether it's eye contact, the way they dress, the way they answer the questions. You have to be confident in yourself. If you're not, the employers notice that. Now, when people come out of an interview, maybe it didn't go as well as they thought, they, they consider it a disaster. How do you build on that? You just have to take that as learning experience. Mm -hmm. If you get the opportunity to say, can you let me know what I did wrong? They could tell you, you never looked at us in the face or you were okay. fidgeting your hands the whole time or you smell like cigarettes or whatever the case may be. Learn from that. Go to your next one as a new opportunity. It's a new business, a new day, a new time. Walk in with confidence and say, I didn't get that last one, but I got this one. And mm -hmm. the same can be said to build off of that about individuals that haven't been in the workplace in a while, okay. or maybe you've just come through a traumatic situation. Maybe you've had a separation in your life for now you have to go to work and get that job. Be confident that you have something to offer the workplace, build upon those skills, build upon those abilities, and go in there learning from all the situations. You could really use it as a fuel and a passion to do good in that interview. Uh, when people are looking for more information, where can they get it? Uh, you can go on Facebook at Job Fest Kern. You can check us out on YouTube as well. We're starting to put out some training videos. Oh, really? Some of them are actually kind of fun too. So it, <laughs> it gets, it's not the professional, you know, video that you're thinking that it would be. It's, okay. We throw some laughter into it. I don't know if anyone's seen our how to dress for a job interview that we did last year. If you haven't, check it out on YouTube. <laughs> it's really good Is it content. your own YouTube channel? Absolutely, yeah. What is it? Job it's, Fest Kern. John yep. Fe Job Fest Kern. Yep. And, to, and you're both actors now. Yeah, I almost thought you said Josh Fest, Kern. I was like, wow, that's awesome. <laughs> I'm not leaving you out, Frank. <laughs> that would never happen. Frank Rivera, Josh Kosh, thanks for coming thanks in this for morning. Us. Appreciate it. Thank you.